A policy to give every school child a tablet in class was one of the Ministry of Education's flagship digital education goals. The ministry has earmarked 20 billion NT over four years to revolutionize learning at grades 1 through 12. Teachers using tablets in class say it's part of a broader revolution in teaching and learning. With the flexibility a tablet affords, students have more chances to invent a learning style that works for them, rather than toiling away at a monolithic program. We take a trip to Wangzi Elementary in Taichung to learn more. In every class, each student has a tablet in their hands. The teacher stands at the front and teaches through the devices. This lesson is on natural sciences. Using the tablet, abstract concepts become concrete and understanding opens up for kids. The Ministry of Education has launched a digital learning plan to give every school class internet access and every child a tablet. When I watch the video to prepare for the class I'm going to do, it makes what we do in class more memorable. And I don't feel in the class like I can't understand what the teacher is saying. I only remember if it's interesting. That's an insight most of us can agree with. Teachers say that if every child has a tablet, teachers must also change their styles of teaching. Force-feeding students facts is becoming obsolete. It makes some abstract ideas concrete. Then I can use some electric circuits and currents to make it look like a real flow is occurring. So that way the students can establish a mental model, which is very important in scientific education. Then when they actually carry out experiments and observe the natural environment, then they have more tools to use. In this class, students break into small groups to discuss the task they're working on using the tablets. Then they report their experiences to the class in small groups. They can prepare for the class in advance using the tablet and revise it afterward. Learning is much more flexible. As the program rolls out, children across Taiwan will find out if this makes lessons more or less of a headache.